Dude, it would have been such an evil choice to kill him right there, though, but... but... We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? Question is, where's Tweedle Dumb? Sure he's coming? Yes. And Jersey You'll Devil, an that's true. To... Probably in the second season. He's back. <gasps> the Crooked Man. Thank God. Motherfucker. We just spit on him? Fuck yeah. He's getting my respect okay? a little bit. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. And after what happened with Mary... What? Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I didn't kill him? I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Oh, okay. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting you for? You for murderer! Yourself? My you wife killed Lily she was my Where the fuck do you get hey, off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You You're a fucking sir, crook. It's overwhelming that he's guilty. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who He's killed dead, my though. sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna I bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's <laughs> what? <laughs> dead. Dude, so, so badass. Punished. There's no that doesn't need change this. anything. <laughs> we'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. Damn right. Shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. How about I go ahead and kill you right now? In front of all these people? Do I look like I give a shit? After the rest of your crimes yeah. are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. But only then. If you insist. Yeah, does it look like I give a shit over people? You are charged with the murder of Faith everything. and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> Snow's like Big V, come now, on. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap it's judgments, true. no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. A misunderstanding, you know, this the shotguns accidentally went off a, do a dozen times each. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking misunderstanding, dude. Misclick. The floor. Check the logs. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? 
Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his Bullshit. Business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking truth for once. He's always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Give me a break. You're so full of shit. Well, I thought we could discuss this like civilized people, but apparently that oh, isn't going sake. to happen. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered mm. your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes. Carried away. Hmm. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me. As I've protected them. Where are they you now? Stand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions. I then turn this on you and her? Watch. Yeah. You're not serious. Try. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really yeah. think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, Left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. Oh, I was fuck. there to look out for you. Well, we have done yes, that a lot. Wasn't or I have. I. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? Oh fuck! Well, Greenleaf. Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. What? You... Burned it down? You see? There's more to this than they're saying, okay? It was necessary to keep this town safe. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you Whoa. being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes, but believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, yeah sure. right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. You're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town Fuck yeah, is let's go. And those girls will have their justice. Oh, even she came over and we fucked her over. <laughs> Everyone came over. Very good. Very good. 
The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations... She begrudgingly came over, that's me. true. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What uh, are you so talking about? What about your history? No. Fuck you, okay? I'm sick of your shit. You see what I mean? Bigby? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't oh, feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did. Yes, he was working absolutely. Yes? Yes. Of course, yes. You're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Oh! Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That, that was that was justified, though. He was trying to sh he was trying to kill us. For fuck's sake, killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was uh, beaten to okay, he's got a point while there. Under, your watch. under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. Yes, it, it did. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. Everyone just shut the fuck up. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always yes. been. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was of course she's going to agree with him. idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Fucking A. Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the... Bigby? Miss White? Yes, we need you. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Little What's she now? doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're your lips are no longer sealed. Fuck something. yeah. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was... Afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let's Let go. Us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. She's got a unibrow what? when she does that. Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. He might as well have. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was oh, in the shit. goddamn room when he did it! Faith oh. and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And now I can finally say, 
You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do you it. You are the winning. Him. You are winning the Georgie crowd. Fuck yeah. Never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. He's gonna try to pull her ribbon. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it. Right? Down well, if he did that, he'd be well. fucked anyways. Nah, but. That's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. I Listen agree, to Grandel. Yourselves. You're all rats fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What? You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. I agree with Grendel. Wait. I could always rip your arms off first. Would you enjoy that? Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't blood so we get rid of him. So we here. can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Everyone shut the fuck up and Clearly, listen to Snow, goddammit. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look, I'm making the call. Why should you... He is the only officially appointed representative here. Yeah. But fuck yeah. Decide. Let's go. Makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want. <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna do, baby. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Oh, I'm going to. Trust me. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his fucking head off. Everyone, I'm not this way. There you are. I hope you all. Snow is too patient for this playthrough. Yes, she is. Sweetheart. Me. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You're going to miss me. No, I <sighs> won't. Come here, you little fucking- <sighs> What are you- Oh my god. Oh. Snow will remember that. Fabletown is afraid of the big bad wolf. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. This choice is blank, this choice is blank, this choice is blank. What the fuck? Someone's gonna see you, Colin. What the fuck is that? Yep. One day later. <coughs> hey, Sheriff. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving what? the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. What? Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf. Flycatcher left his keys.
Uh. Right. Thanks. I'm I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Well, now that has to be left into the YouTube video for clarification on what right. exactly happened. You're late. To cause this. Everyone's scared of me, dude. Everyone's like, oh. Oh, Garland. Jesus. Damn. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Where's the pig? Where's Colin? Come on, Colin. Oh, there he is. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. Wait, so yeah, that that, sure that guy completely me. skipped that part something. with Colin. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice. So look, I'm kind of busy here. Please. Sorry, kid. DJ will remember that. Oh, that's it, oh. buddy. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. <laughs> God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> Your dad broke the rules, TJ. You're not allowed to stay in Fable Town without a glamour. <laughs> okay. Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So yeah, we're banned from know, the fucking farm. Would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Colin's gonna be pissed. He's gonna tell us to kiss his pork chops. You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last time? Can't be easy getting cigs up at the farm. I don't think so. Are you always gonna be a stingy asshole? <laughs> I <laughs> guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. I can't make any promises. Yeah, me neither. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I I'd be scared to take it off. Like I should be able to move ribbon. It's just let me help you. Bigby, I I know you're trying to help, but this is just something I need to do on my own, okay? Listen, I I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? 
It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical uh -oh. evidence? Nerissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? <laughs> so I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. yes. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. Mm. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait. Hold her ribbon. Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the oh, crooked man. man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I mean, I get it. We all I know it, but man. Head at your doorstep. Ah, so you did that. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction people like us get forgotten all the time the crooked man was counting on that when we suffer we do it in silence and the world likes it that way we just fade like we never existed i couldn't watch that happen to faith or lily nobody cares about us not really it's going to be different now I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I Hopefully. Don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. True. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. No, it doesn't matter what I do. In the end, it's 
All the same shit it always was. You're wrong. Very we pessimistic. This place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Whoa. I forgot about that. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Holy fuck. I forgot about that reveal. What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% .6 of players killed him. Did you give the crooked man a trial? You and 89.6% .6 of players brought the crooked man back a lot. How did you punish the crooked man? You and 14% of the players ripped their crooked man's head off. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? You and 1.5% of players refused to accept TJ's gift for snow. Oh man, dude. Big minority for that one. What were your last words to Nerissa? You and 7.8% of players said none of it matters in the end. We also went after in the end too. Beast, you beat him while he was down. Beauty, you refused to keep her secrets for her. You impressed her with your detective skills. Butcher, you beat him up during the interrogation. You, you advised him to leave town. Colin, you sent Colin to the farm. Crane, you slapped him. I did a lot more than slap him. I broke his fucking nose. Crooked man, you took him back to the witching well and you ripped his head off. D, you chose to burn him with a cigar during the interrogation. You chose to smash him over the head with a bottle during the interrogation. You confiscated D's money while he was in custody. You killed Dunn. Georgie, you made him suffer before he died, and you smashed up his place, and you took his money from his safe. Greenleaf, you kicked her, you kicked down her door, and you burned down her tree. Grin, you ripped his arm off at the trip trap bar. Holly, you interrupted her sister's funeral, and you pretended to be Woodman while she was passed out. You reported him to Snow for burglary. Lawrence, you went to his place first and you prevented him from dying. That's probably the best choice on every playthrough. Marissa, you tried to take her ribbon off in Bigby's office. And you tried to take her ribbon off during your final conversation. No, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. And showed her Crane's. You showed her Crane's photograph of her. I'm, sh I'm surprised there's not more about between me and Snow. Tiny Tim, you left him behind. TJ, you refused to take his present for snow. Toad, slapped him during the interrogation in the apartment. Vivian, you tried to remove her ribbon at the pudding and pie. Woody, you glassed the woodman at the 